This is city was stopped. As the country is leading beverage alcohol company, we are sensitive to consumer, community, and societal needs. We are proud of being a responsible producer and marketer of beverage alcohol, and we champion responsible consumption as part of a balanced lifestyle. The inauguration of this craft and innovation hub assumes significance for us in a multitude of ways. Over the last few days, I've had the opportunity to interact with quite a few startups and their founders, and it's been heartening to see their enthusiasm for work. Apart from the wonderful talent that we see here, the infrastructure, connectivity, and access have been catapulted go up beyond to the startup map in the country. Given these factors, it is but natural that Goa has emerged as a hotbed for innovation with an expanding alphabet startup ecosystem fueling India's craft innovation. Today, 11 out of the 14 leading local alphabet brands are based out of Goa, which is incredible in my view. And many of these brands appeal to audiences globally raising the stature of Indian spirits not just in our country, but internationally as well. Studies show that the growing craft phenomenon is led by consumers who are looking for newer experiences, displaying repertoire behavior, and have become both curious and passionate about sustainability. These consumers also display a strong sentiment for local pride, driven by the shining examples of Indian exceptionalism be it in the corporate sector or in the creation of value across the industry sector. We ourselves have taken bold steps in the world of craft, whiskey and gin, and the movement started right here in Goa. We invested in Now Spirits last year. Uh, they are makers of the award-winning gin brands such as Greater Than and Kabusha. And it's been a wonderful journey with Anand, the founder of Now, and his team over the last year. We launched two limited editions of Epitome Reserve, a rare and exceptional offering in our Indian craft spirits portfolio. The first edition was made from 100% rice grain. We made only 2,000 bottles. The second one was a peated Indian single malt whiskey, only 3,600 bottles. And it is testimony to the absolute mastery of the creator and the liquid. We've also launched Godavar our first artisanal single malt innovation to create liquid experiences and redefine modern Indian luxury. Taking forward our commitment to sustainability and conservation of the great Indian mustard bird, which is on the brink of extinction, I have to tell you that uh, about two weeks ago, I was given the horrifying statistic that the great Indian mustard is now less than 100 in numbers. And we are making serious efforts to conserve this bird. Uh, government has granted us 200 acres of land where we are planting seven grass, which is essential for these birds to inhabit. So we are, uh, the whole team is really dedicated to uh, the Great Indian Buster Bird. Uh, it is also our pleasure to premiere Godavan at the Indian Pavilion of the 75th Khan Film Festival 2022. All these brands complement our already strong brand portfolio, which is global. Johnny Walker, Singleton, Dallas Curl, Gordon's Bankways, I'm sure you've heard of these brands. We also have a long association with over the whole 52 years with Honda and Goa, uh, with the acquisition of Kesar Beverages in 1970, which was renamed McDowell's and Company, and subsequently acquired by United Spirits Limited. Today it gives me great pleasure to announce that we are further strengthening our commitment to Goa and we have invested 45 crores in the state-of-the-art craft and innovation hub here. We believe this will be a huge boost to our craft portfolio as well as enabling the startup ecosystem that is building up in Goa. Aligned with the vision of Make in India, the hub spread across four acres of built-up area will distill, mature, blend, finish and bottle innovation brands for the craft portfolio. In addition to craft spirits, the hub will also produce our innovative premium offerings that have been recently added 
in our portfolio such as Royal Challenge Medical Practice. I am also happy to share that at full capacity, the hub will produce 20,000 cases a month and will employ 250 people locally. The craft and innovation hub caters to various requirements of distillation, maturation. We can distill in malt, gin and rum here. We have maturation infrastructure. We have an automated bottling and packaging line for craft spirits. And we have a modern warehouse for incoming and finished products. The hub will also host a one-of-a-kind consumer experience center, which will be the culmination of the distillery tour and it will carry memorabilia, souvenirs, bespoke merchandise from Goa and it will also sell our portfolio. We strongly believe that this will soon become uh, an additional tourism attraction for Goa. The expansion further in including more spirit production, maturation and blending of high bouquet spirits. This hub will also act as our primary export center. Uh, it will be catered to more than 15 states within India and over countries globally. The hub also demonstrates uh, the India's commitment to long-term research focused on grain to glass sustainability and is in line with our strategy to accelerate transformational innovation and strengthen our craft uh, premium portfolio in India. Today, the need of the hour is for the industry to collaborate in order to compete and place Indian spirits on the connoisseur's list globally. The Art of India is committed to partnering with the ecosystem to provide support to develop, nurture and mentor smaller companies. The hub will serve as an incubator by providing the platform and resources required by these startups to thrive in the alcohol sector and accelerate innovation. We believe this will go a long way in infusing confidence, knowledge and expertise for these companies as they aim to bring best in class offerings to the consumers who are getting more and more discerning every day. An important aspect of our strategy is our commitment to society. Last year, we launched Society 2030 Spirit of Progress, which is our new 10-year action plan for ESG on the role we will play in society. It is very fundamental to our mission and to our impact of creating long-term value for all our stakeholders. Our strategic priorities are to promote positive drinking, champion inclusion and diversity, and pioneer grain to glass sustainability. In terms of fostering positive drinking, we want to change the way the world drinks for the better by celebrating moderation and continuing to address alcohol-related harm. Therefore, some of our key programs like Act Smart India, Wrong Side of the Road, and our key sites like Drink IQ, our collaboration with the regional transport offices, are all addressed to design or all designed to address issues such as underage drinking, drink driving, and binge drinking. During last year, more than 200,000 people across India were educated through our positive drinking programs and we are continuing to strengthen these initiatives. At this hub, we are really committed to driving grain to glass sustainability. We are leveraging 100% renewable energy for distillation. In addition, more than 40% of the overall operations are powered by in-house renewable electricity through our solar plant and the steam turbine. Over the last two years, the distillery has made a significant improvement of over 45% in water use efficiency through various water conservation measures, process improvement and utility efficiency processes. Honorable Minister, your vision to build the skills of youth of Goa is aligned to our craft philosophy of giving back to the community and it has inspired us to launch an employability linked skills training program along with the skill development mission of Goa. This program will train 1,000 local youths over three years for employment and self-employment uh, self roles in the hospitality, tourism and allied industries. Over 300 hours of skills-based training focusing on the holistic development of the learners by academia and industry professionals will be provided. Post-completion of the program based on individual performance and market requirements, placement and entrepreneurial support could be provided 
along with industry and government approved certification. I would really like to thank you, Honorable Minister, for all the support that you and your team have extended to us over time to enable us to provide not just best in class offerings to the consumer, but also work closely with the government to enhance employability. We look forward to working closely with you and your team, sir, to drive further progress together in our business and in work. Thank you very much. All the support from my constituents and all the world, I will promise on behalf of CM that whatever is required for the comfort of this company to work over here, for the staff over here, we will always see to it that yes, we are there. With, with the government and the company, we will work hand in hand for the betterment of the state. No doubt that this company is going to add to the exchequer. But at the same, at the same time, what Madam has just uh, reiterated here, the government mentioned that they are going to add skill, skill development program for the entire state. Thousand people initially, thousand two thousand people initially would be of a great help to us. That's what I feel.